Today we're at Holly Oaks Off-Road Park and we have a Bronco Raptor to play with. We're gonna start off in Baja mode two-wheel drive and we've got a higher speed kind of rally cross course almost to play with. Charlie's in the passenger seat, Charlie from Daily Motor of course. So we'll be giving you guys some driving impressions and doing a little bit of an off-road test today on this Bronco Raptor. Haven't driven this too much except for on the street and excited to test out all the various modes, settings, uh, there's a lot to play with out here and a great space to do it in here at Holly Oaks. Charlie's got his flannel on. Yeah. Repping U of M. All right, let's go. <laughs> so we are in Baja mode, too high. Uh, traction control off. We're at about 25, 26 PSI on all four tires. I think I'm going to roll some windows up. We thought about taking the doors off and going full open top today, but I don't know. I think in the interest of keeping the interior somewhat clean, this is the way to go. Do a little scouting lap here, get our bearings. Some big rocks, but some these tires shouldn't have too much of an issue with Oh them. yeah, we should be all right. And pretty much anything but a side-by-side, -side, this is a little bit too rough, but this Bronco Raptor should handle it better than most. Whoa, yeah, there's some big bumps here. <laughs> this just keeps getting rougher yeah. and rougher every year. Maybe not as high speed as I thought. <laughs> you are supposed to be able to Baja with this thing. It's and true. Like Baja 1000 it, but yeah. the bodies of those drivers are in pretty good shape. They are. <laughs> and they're harnessed in too. That's true. Got a little rut here. Been used to driving my BRZ all week to do some adjustments here. Oh boy. <laughs> Little yump. It seems to be handling it quite well. I'm gonna have to get some exterior shots of you hitting these. I know, whoops. these are good whoops. Woo! <laughs> Yeah, this course has gotten super rough. This is not as high speed of a section as it used to be. That second half isn't too bad. Yeah. But this, this half is a little rough. This is, gets a little, little too much here. I've got to say, for a stock vehicle, <laughs> yeah. nothing else quite handles this as well. But still, whew, the spacing of some of these bumps is pretty... That's the tough part. Yeah. yeah. It, you're, you're working with a short wheelbase here. I think with the F-150, it'd be a little more... Yep stretched out, bridging the bumps a little more. Does it feel pretty nimble though? It feels pretty good, yeah. No complaints. Let's take this high line here. High road. Get some drift action. Yeah. The steering ratio seems good. Just like being in a race car on a track, there's a there's a level of kind of learning what the vehicle's capable of and kind of getting comfortable with it. Once you realize you're not gonna bottom out on some of these, then you can kind of get a little more comfortable with it. Yeah, that was a good jump right there. Okay, well, suspension feels awesome in this Raptor. Any other vehicle would have bottomed out already. The uh, Even the Wrangler 392 kind of struggled through this. It's a pretty interesting progression in the shock. It's it's it it's feels like stiff very, initially. I was gonna well, I was gonna say the opposite. It's almost kind of soft initially, and then it stiffens up near the bottom. I don't know. I could go for a, I guess a little bit more of a linear progression, but they probably know what they're doing better than I do. All right, gosh, we should really just be taking this to the dunes. That's where it would shine. It sounds good. It does make a good noise. I think I kind of like the sound of it more than the F-150. It's very shrill. Yeah. Kind of a yell. It's got a lot of traction. Yeah. These are the proper tires on it. That's for sure. We got the yep. 37s. Oh, wow. Look at that. Just crawl on through Big there. Big nice. vehicles could do that. A yeah. And <laughs> yeah, they've got everything bulldozed out around here. Huh. Should technically be able to fit an F-250 through all of it. 
Yeah, I, I like riding around here in this much better than that 392 Jeep we had last time we were up here. The suspension's really good. I mean, that was extremely rough. Yes. Like pretty much only anything that would that would be comfortable doing that back there was would be a side by side. Yeah. Getting a little bit of stability control intervention. Let's turn everything completely off. Still kind of play around a little bit in two wheel drive here. Let's see what we can find. Yeah, I think in a lot of this stuff, two wheel drive is going to do you just fine. Yeah. These tires have so much grip. Yeah. Look at this camera, too. I know. That's what you don't get in the Forerunner. That's it's true. A camera. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> Gosh, they haven't gotten rain out here in ages. Yeah, how much of the course can we do in two-wheel drive? <laughs> Gotta stay ahead of our dust cloud. I think so. I think this is it. Check it out. Yeah. It looks like some good higher speed flat. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. Excuse me, Topher viewers. <laughs> it's family friendly channel. We can say ass. Can say ass. Okay. Yeah, this is, like you said, the fact you can pick this up from the dealer and just head right out and do this is really something. It's pretty amazing. Mostly just trying to save our bodies. I feel like the Raptor can handle more than we can. I think you're right. Yeah. I'd like to see some approach angle stuff from the outside later today too. See what you can uh, kind of walk up to. Yeah. Oh, this is great. Nice. Look at this. Yeah. Cool. No one knows about it yet. Yeah. We do have a few gates, but this, this area should be prime for Raptor. It's true. Yeah, this is not as uh, sports car adjustable yeah. as the F-150. It's a shorter wheelbase. It's got um, I don't know, the 37-inch tires, I think, add a little bit of an element of, I don't know, they add grip. Yeah. And You've got, got more it's wide. contact patch. It's, sometimes grip is what tips you, you know, if you, if you get the right slide. Now, this thing is, it's so wide. You've got the, uh, the reaction time and you, you'd steer out of something. I'm having Seth Brisma uh, flashbacks. That's right, yeah. You, you did just roll over in a Honda side by side in a yeah. Talon. Yep. And it was, he, yeah, he just didn't know to throttle out anywhere we were starting to tip. We did only have one moment in that Honda um, Talon. It was the four door. Yeah. And. Yeah, well, I guess I guess we, we caught it. We I caught mean, it. Yeah. If you know to counter steer back out, you should be fine. Yeah. You can weight transfer. <laughs> We're getting a tire squeal. There's so much grip. Yeah. <laughs> Raptoring at its finest. Oh, no, we can't see. <laughs> uh, cool. I'm impressed. I mean, if you're not getting lost in your own dust cloud, what are you doing with your life? Just try to try to tackle this in two-wheel drive. Oh yeah, I think you've got no problem. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> you can hear him just crawling away. <laughs> uh, 
This is great. This back section is fantastic. Yeah. I'm a big fan. When in doubt, build it up. Yeah, wonderful. Good job, Holly Oaks. Thank you for your hard work. <laughs> you seem giddy. Yeah, Baja mode is pretty cool. I mean, like, this is pretty... This is pretty rough through here, and the suspension just takes it. It's having a great time out here. course I mean this is so bumpy yeah, oh, it's, well it, is. it just doesn't care no. I almost want to have a GoPro on the suspension like hooking into the wheel well and just watch it do its thing yeah Baja mode is doing a good job a little tight turn here let's go into four auto See how rear bias this is. This should just grip and rip. <laughs> yeah, now you're getting a lot of speed. <laughs> yeah, this is like doing jumps and shit speed. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, less less goofing around, more serious winning races, sorta. Of. Yeah. You really have to factor in how wide this raptor is too. I mean you look at the hood lines yep. and the fenders extend what, like eight inches out from that? It's ridiculous. Well, that's what I was curious about this camera is those little wheel marks it gives you, is that where your tires are or is that where the engine of the car is, you know? <laughs> that's impressive. Wow, a little scanning flick here. Properly quick. <laughs> wow, got some radiator action going now. Yeah, nice and toasty. All right, so let's switch into, let's go into off-road mode, whatever that's worth. I assume this is more uh, tuned to rock crawling. Well, you do have a rock crawl mode. Oh yeah, let's go into let's go into R mode. We'll double press our R well, mode. Well, you got that too, but I think there's an actual rock crawl under the goat mode as well. That's right. Yes, yes. So, there's yeah, lots of dry modes. There's, you, yeah. Or you can just set everything up manually. There's so much you can do. <laughs> so now we have sway bars disconnected. We're in four high. Um, rides a little bit smoother now, actually. What is the turn control you were talking about earlier, or whatever that was? Oh yeah, trail turn trail assist. Turn so assist. if we're in a situation like this, and we want to turn around really quickly. All we do is that it'll break the inside uh, rear wheel and it'll rotate us around and pivot that it's like it's like a pivot point which is pretty neat okay so you can basically just almost have a, <laughs> a zero turning radius does it provide like a, a small amount of brake biasing when you're just turning slightly and then more brake biasing or is it sort of an all or nothing um, it's beyond a certain level of steering lock. Okay. So let's say if I wanted to make this corner right yeah, here, yeah. normally this would be a three point turn, yep. but with trail turn assist, you map the accelerator and it just rotates wow. you around. That's pretty cool. It's pretty neat. Yeah, it's cool tech. Yeah. I think the Land Cruiser has, the new uh, Land Cruiser LX has the same tech. Okay. Off-road mode really likes to rev it out. Do you notice a little bit of a change in ride quality with the sway bars disconnected? It seems yeah. a little softer. Yep, a little bit more. Definitely a little impressive. bit more wallowy. Yeah. Ah, 
this is fun. It's a physical experience. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I always forget how, uh, I, you know, this is, uh, you go out in a side by side and it completely masks all the terrain that you're going over. Yes. You go out in a forerunner and you feel everything. This kind of splits the difference. Yep. But it's in a vehicle that you can drive every day. It's luxurious, it's comfortable. Um, take the roof off. I mean, you can get the side-by-side -side experience in this, take the doors off, pull everything off this Raptor yeah. Bronco, and <laughs> just have a blast. We decided we opted not to take everything off today just because uh, we didn't want to get the interior too yeah, messy. Yeah, see how dusty we would be. It's, yeah, it's, it's already um, a pretty dusty day out. We haven't had any rain recently, so. Well, and, and we got to point out, you're the only one here that's flogging their car at such speeds. Everyone yes. else is slow crawling and everything. The fact that you're doing this really says something. Everyone's out here with their big tires and their fenders are yep. moving and stuff it's true. out. And you're just... Pockets. We have our little inclinometer here. Let's do that. So we got... Pitch and roll. Oh yeah, we could probably pitch a, about 30 degrees. Maybe even a little bit more. I don't know what this is officially rated for, but uh, should be pretty good. Let's uh, let's attack this. So we'll turn off trail turn assist. Here, feel that. Yeah. I'll tackle this one here. This should be pretty good. We can lock a rear diff, and uh, I think we can probably go four low. Are you gonna crawl control it, or are you gonna drive it up yourself? I think we'll just we'll just do it ourselves. This should be a walk in the park. Quite literally. <laughs> Ain't no thing. Now that little Bronco is like, I want to try. <laughs> what we really need to try is the, uh, the steeper section. Oh yeah, yeah. We need the steps. We could do the steps. Yeah, why not? Let's try the steps. I don't know if These anyone's coming right on the other side, but. This looks pretty tame for something like this. Okay, the camera too, is yeah, nice. that's true. That is nice. Yeah, the suspension is really something. I know it's amazing. Literally going up concrete steps, it's, and you barely feel it. It's pretty stable, like at low speeds, at high speeds, it just doesn't care. Yeah. <laughs> I think you could probably do those steps in a Camry. That was pretty tame. About 30 miles per hour. Yeah. The real test is going to be this line right here. Yeah. This is, uh. Have you done this before? No. This is fun. All right. So we'll lock a rear diff. Might as well. Can I hop out and film you? Yeah. You just don't want to be in the car while we do this? It's a little bit of both. <laughs> I put a lot of faith in you today. I don't, I don't blame you. <laughs> I did do this in the Forerunner. In your Forerunner? Yeah. This handle, line? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was a champ. In the wet. Again, walk in the park. <laughs> Speed is your friend on that obstacle. Properly dirty now. Here's a little comparison: baby Bronco versus 
Bronco Raptor. Perfect. That short wheelbase gets up just about anything. Yeah. What train, uh, suspension motor are we in now? Um, I think just comfort. You can adjust everything individual. Oh, we are in off-road. Let's go, let's go to normal. Okay. See if that softens things up a little. Off-road is the stiffest suspension setting. Uh, we'll go right. I can't remember what's up here. Are you gonna find out? I mean, this section of the trail is pretty uneventful, if I'm being honest. This is pretty much anything can th get through this, but it is a good test of ride. I mean, this is the thing about this Raptor, too, is that it is just as capable of a rock crawler as it is a Baja high speed vehicle. Yep. And it is a little bit, it's like an inch narrower than the F-150 Raptor. Okay. It's much shorter. So I guess that makes it a little bit more trail friendly. Yeah. It feels smaller, even though we have uh, just an enormous amount of width here, but that does add quite a bit of stability, which, which is a good thing. Well, at least... Uh, this looks a little bit washed out. We're gonna stay out of this rut. Charlie's gonna spot us here. See how our articulation goes here. Nice. Gonna keep left. Oh yeah. Hopping in all right. I don't think you'll need me for this next section. You just kind of want to stay to the left. So yep. You can get a nice straddle that rut. Yep. You got it. Nice. I like how it shows you where your tires are going. Me too. That's useful. Now see, I've yeah. never quite understood. You could be using hill descent control right now, but why? What's wrong with just your brakes? Is I know. Because, I like, do not want to let my foot off the brake. I, I just, yeah. I don't feel like it. Right. I, this is pretty steep. It is very steep. I can't see our pitch and roll. I like my camera. <laughs> yeah. It's <laughs> so nice when you, when you just see ground. <laughs> That's set off the parking sensors. Yeah. Yeah, that was... That's a steep one. Uh -huh. Hopefully that came through on camera reasonably accurately. <laughs> Walk in the park here. I think so. These KO2s are just, they're so big. We've aired them down to 25 PSI, which is conservative, honestly, out here. You could probably hit 15 or 20. Well, they're but, so thick. I was looking at them when you were going over on us outside there. They're squishing very nicely. Good. I mean, yeah, you could lower more, but I don't think you'd want to doing the high speed stuff. This is a heavy vehicle. Yeah. What is it, about 5,500 pounds? Is it that, no, that much? It's over 5,000. It weighs more than a Mach E, I know that. That's a lot of <laughs> Let's go, uh, let's head on to the other side of the park. Okay. And then, um... Kind of like how we've been the only ones in that whole ah, area. That's great. This is fun. I'm having more fun in this, I think, than just about every game, except for maybe the, the 392 was pretty awesome because it just made great noises. Yeah, that's the only thing. But it yeah. wasn't as sophisticated of oh a vehicle in any of these situations from rock crawling to high speed running um i was more fatigued in the wrangler yeah. at this point than i am in this this i'm okay to keep going and just kind of keep hanging out the jeep was like okay commands. i get it <laughs> yeah i'm done this is always a fun one you can also do this in a camry too oh, <laughs> Pontiac g6 yeah it sounds good from the outside too. It's got kind of a low. It does make a good noise. Sound. You're right. Ah, oh, so good. Okay, maybe we can sneak around all these jeeps. 
There's a little bit of a rim trail we can hit up this way. Yeah. And that's pretty fun. We did that with the tremor, so this should have no problem fitting. Yeah. A little bit of a driver's meeting. Oh, they're doing like some hardcore stuff where they're actually like scouting someone down. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. That's fun. That's a nice thing about having a club for that sort of thing. Is, Absolutely. You know, I couldn't come out here and be comfortable doing most of this stuff. You are a little more, you're more experienced, but when you got a whole group of people to do it with, they'll tell you kind of what you can and can't do. Yes. Yeah, I've spent a little bit more time in this park this, this year and I kind of know what, like, stock forerunner. It's the limit of capability with ground clearance. Mm -hmm. um, you know, some other, okay, so here's a perfect example of trail turn assist. This is a situation where it is just so useful. Look at this. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, that's really impressive. Every, any other vehicle, you'd have to go around, do a three point turn, and you can just turn it on at a moment's notice. Yeah. It's awesome. The other cool thing with off-roading versus something like track driving is you can sort of learn it with people. Yes. And at a slower speed, you can kind of step up little bit by little bit. Track driving, it's kind of like, all right, you kind of have to jump in both feet first for the most part. It's true. I mean, yeah, you could you could go out with a, a co-driver, but still, if you don't have comp systems, and it's just, there's a lot more going on. This, you can start very low, low stakes. Low speed is the name of the game yeah. here. Because you want to maximize your approach angles, you want to don't want to upset the vehicle. You can't really. I mean, there are some situations where you can go too slowly. Yeah, you wouldn't have made it up that steep rock section. Crawling, yes. I don't think. Yeah, you gotta. Put this. Who knows? <laughs> once you get your front bumper cleared, you go for it. Yeah. <laughs> That's probably got it. Makes for some good iPhone footage. Yeah, it did. It might be a fun little trail to do on this too. Yeah, I'm trying to steer away from some of the tighter stuff. But let's see, there's a uh, downhill section that's pretty fun here. Yeah. I think, I think it's I think up it's here. Yeah. <laughs> Are you doing that, shifting? No, that's all the car. I have not touched the paddles wow. yet today. I, I, I don't really feel like it because there's just uh, so little control yeah. well, with well, all those, the speeds. You could hear how close those ratios were. Yeah. That's why I thought you were doing it because it was just so next to each other. Let's go, let's see, let's see what this looks like through here. This is looking a little too tight. Yes. That looks better over there. Let's try that. Take this third route. Yeah, it is insane how wide this thing is. And it, it helps so much. I mean, to have those tires pushed out that far, yeah, you're almost... Any, if you're gonna scrape anything, it's gonna be those plastic uh, pump, um, fenders. So it's yeah. not that big of a deal. You're not scratching your paint. This is kind of a gnarly downhill bit here, but we should be fine. I keep forgetting, we're in a Raptor. This, everything's a walk in the park in this. Easy. Yeah, such easy brake modulation through this. This is wonderful. walk in the park. You want to hop in? You didn't bring your off-roading shoes today, so I figure you don't want to no, I did. follow too much. These are my dirty shoes. The dirty shoes? Yeah, lawn mowing shoes. We're good. All right. This is kind of a fun downhill here, too. Safety, safety first. 
Yeah, I'd be nervous about these ruts without this much ground clearance. But. Yeah, and we, I forgot, we also have our sway bars disconnected too. So this is staying really quite stable yeah. and level. I'm actually impressed. I thought the width here would be more of a hindrance mm -hmm. and it's been fine. Yeah. Granted, Hollyoaks is wider than some trails, but you could get through some stuff if you're not afraid of scratching up a few plastic fenders here and there. I mean, if anything, it's going to ride out outside of the normal ruts of a lot of vehicles, and that might help give you an advantage in some situations or just float over the trail. And your tires are wide enough that kind of you're just on top of everything. Yeah. Ooh, heavy downshift. Yeah. I want to see you do some uphills. We got one right here. Here it is. We're gonna lock our rear diff on this one. And I think we'll be in pretty good shape. This will really test ground clearance because this is a pretty high, high center area. But I think we'll be okay. We have lots of skid plates. Might even lock the front diff. Why not? You have to release the accelerator pedal to get your front. Oh, there you go, you're locked. It doesn't look very impressive on camera at all, but it's pretty rough, pretty rutted. You're in second gear, which is kind of funny. I know. <laughs> yeah, first would be ridiculously low. I mean, I guess that's the benefit of having the 10 speed in a way. It's just yeah. so many gears to choose from. This ground, this ground clearance is just incredible. Yeah. And you know what else is kind of cool is I wouldn't, this would be the type of vehicle I'd be willing to take out Alyssa off-roading in this because sure. it is comfortable enough that I think she'd have a good time. Oh, Something so like that Wrangler, I think she'd be like, I'm not enjoying this. Um, but this, I think you could take someone who's maybe a little bit less of a, an enthusiast and they could still have a good time. Yeah, absolutely. No, that's very true. And you don't uh, have to put a helmet on them and goggles like a side-by-side. -side and Yeah. Cool. It's pretty comfy. I, I've always kind of been worried that the... Um, the Bronco Raptor would be too stiff or, you know, too this or too that, yeah. but this is just perfect. Let's do a little trail turn assist here. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? Yeah, it's it's really just great. Cool. Yeah. Huh. Such a good system. No, I'm sold. I, I could see people using the Bronco much more like this than the F-150 Raptor. I just don't see Raptor buyers in the F-150 purchasing that vehicle to use it yeah. like this. I think it's more of a status symbol, whereas I see Bronco Raptor people a little bit more so buying it and going and doing this. That's cool. That's fun. Yeah, it's a much more usable off-road vehicle than the F-150 and it's just fun. It's so good. It's a little bit more refined on road, a little bit tighter, a little bit stiffer. Yeah. All the tech in here just works phenomenally well. And uh, you can take the roof off and the doors, pull it all apart. You've got your toolkit right in here. Mm -hmm. And they actually give you a little bit more than what you need. Like you might be able to just take this whole Bronco apart yeah, rebuild with it. everything they give you. Look at this, you've got hex tools, you've mm -hmm. got a couple of ratchets and screwdrivers and everything you need. Yeah. Looks like a nice one too, it's even Bronco branded. Everything for an engine swap. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Yeah. Yeah, good package. Good package. Would you option 37s? I think you kind of have I to think if they're going to go off. The 37s are standard. And then you got that too. Sounds pretty good too. Yeah, it does. I don't think this is underpowered by any means. All right, guys. Well, that's going to be a wrap for this video. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this off-road test. Tried to do as thorough of uh, a test as possible to switch it up in a bunch of different environments. But um, yeah, overall, good time. Yeah. Charlie, thanks for joining us. I'm impressed. We got it properly dusty inside and out. <laughs> it does look good. I think the jury's out a little bit on the fenders, whether those are the right design choice, but I think definitely a necessary part of this Bronco Raptor. The extra width and stability here is really necessary and uh, makes for a very capable off-road machine. All right, stay tuned for the road drive. We'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.